We brought a bunch of guys on a on a really silly event. I don't think I don't think in the history of TV anybody's ever spent this kind of money to film shooting rock chucks. Six X C and we got. So that's what we're out here to do. Get warmed up for the season. We've got a few new guys here that have been with us for just under a couple months. And so we're, we're putting some new format together and trying some new gear, getting some new cool shots. As a team in our company, um, you know, knowing you know, how everybody works is pretty important. Ed Rockanowski, our host, you know. He's, I think we figured close to 100 years old. Kind of, you're kind of a bunch of irritating buggers, you know. He's gonna get that pacemaker wound up again when he Watch sees, out. oh, there he goes. We wind it up. And I've been trying to get Aaron and the guys and all of you to come down and uh, show you my range and uh, do a little rock chuck shooting and it's finally come together. This rock chuck hunt set up pretty well. Ed's got a great spot picked out for us. Four. Shoot again. Reload. He's still there. Reload. Uh, I, I actually had no idea that they were as clever and as quick as they could be. I thought they were kind of a dumb animal. Again, we were set up between 200 to 600 yards, and uh, that's a pretty small target at that range. So He is moving. He's looking at us now. Keep going. Oh, nice. The rock chuck shooting, I think it, it has a real direct carryover for uh, big game hunting because uh, you're under a time constraint. The animal usually in most situations does, doesn't lay around and it's not much of a target when you're talking about a, an overgrown squirrel about the size of a, maybe a small raccoon at six or seven hundred yards. You know, Ed Rockanowski brought us up here to this place that hasn't been hunted. You know, you'd think that these are kind of a dumb animal that would just sit there, but as soon as they heard that first sh shot go off, the game was on. Actually, shooting rock chucks is a pretty good exercise because we've got we've got spotters in training, we've got shooters in training, we've got video camera guys training, and you got to learn to communicate with each other because that that dog's going to give you what two seconds maybe. Oh! And we still had to coordinate that shooter, spotter, camera. There he is. Up to the left, Greg. Got it. To the left of the rock. You ready? Yep. Thank you. Now we got the 6XC. You know, that's a, that's a real popular cartridge that, you know, Gunworks introduced me. Again, I hadn't shot it before, and it's one that they hunt quite a bit with. We kind of we put together a couple special configs of our standard systems. We've got some LR1000s out here, which is our you know kind of our long-range hunting type stock. And then we also took like a, a verdict package, which is a it's a, a real tactical uh, type stock, wide forend adjustable cheek piece. We put a real heavy barrel contour on it. But on this one, instead of going big and going 338 Norma or, or one of the big sevens, we went small. We went like 65 Creedmoor. Uh, and then we, we shorten up the barrel, we put a suppressor on it. It makes a, a really interesting gun to shoot. Virtually no recoil, you put that suppressor on there, and it's a lot of fun to shoot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting to take different types of gear to the field and, and see what works for you. Sometimes in these events, it gives us a chance to make gear that's just slightly different to see what works better and what doesn't. And that's kind of, that's where all of our models have evolved from. We've got the LR1000, the Verdict, you know, the Carbon X, the Mountain Extreme, the Mountain X model. Uh, all of those models come from testing and trying different things in the field. And, and today was just a chance for that. Now it's on to uh, Canada. Well, we're shooting a brass brass cartridge with a with a with a bullet, and there's some powder in there. And I think it goes fast. It usually comes out one end. Um, 